Hi there. Okay, so today we are going to look at the skeleton of a slider turtle. And the pectoral girdle is crazy on turtles because, well, they're basically tucking their arms into their rib cage, right? And so our pectoral girdles are quite a bit different. And it makes these bones here kind of confusing uh, if you don't understand what's going on here. So this bone here is the humerus. And that one's easy because I can see that it extends and goes to the uh, front legs, right? So there's the humerus. And now we need to look at, and what we have going on here is we have the coracoid is here. The coracoid is kind of a flattened bone. This is the coracoid on the other arm. The bone that goes back to the vertebrae, that bone is the scapula. And that bone is often tricky to be able to tell what it is on a two-dimensional drawing, okay? So the scapula goes back and is gonna touch the vertebrae on the back. So there's the scapula. That just leaves this third bone here, and that is the acromial process. So again, humerus, scapula, acromial process, coracoid. The other thing to note while we're looking at this view is that these again are the dorsal vertebrae and they are fused and connected to, look at that, those are the ribs. So the shell of the turtle is made up of bone and it's made up specifically of the rib bone. Okay, if we go now to the pelvic girdle, this one's not as hard and is difficult to see everything. We have the pubis bone right here and the ischium. The ischium is what's going back and touching the vertebrae. So this is the ischium, okay? And then the ilium is here. The pubic bone, the, the whole thing, connects to the femur, femur, okay? And then we have uh, the lower legs, okay? So not too bad in the pectoral. We'll go over the shell uh, in the next video.